Hey members, we're inside the lab. Let's talk a little bit more about feedback, backswing, feed forward, downswing, and how that motor control intent, the neuromotor program that we have built into us really creates downswing. So like if you've seen the reactionary got video on the feedback, it's like putting in a key. And we have time in the backswing to kind of learn these different positions. So really I'm fine with all that. I think we can simplify it and say, okay, I would say there's two steps to the backswing on this. One is, we'll say from the takeaway aspect to roughly, I guess, shaft parallel to the ground. Okay, that's just parallel. So that's the first aspect. Where is that club on the way back? So watch some of those other videos to actually get that position. And then two is then just loading up to the top. So those are your two steps in the backswing. We have time to kind of feel that and develop that. Now on the way down, we really don't have time to sit there and make a move, stop, think about it, which we wouldn't be stopping, but to kind of think about it in pieces. So the backswing, we can go one, two. Downswing is three, it's just go. So how do we develop this go, okay? out of this one, two, three motion on the downswing. Well, that's where the flamingo drill and feet together drill are just great means for you to develop that. Um, swinging a golf club one hand is upside down is another way of doing that. So on the downswing, this, this third component, we'll do this in red, keep it. So if you're red, green, colorblind, I apologize. Um, these are the markers I have. So I'll have to get some other ones, but on the downswing, we want to go ahead and just kind of go. And that's utilizing this feed forward motor program, which is basically an intent that's already built in there before it happens. So this way it can go. That becomes our feel. So what does it feel like to have the most effortless golf swing in the world is proper sequence. Well, when you hit your best shots, that's exactly what's happening is this feed forward downswing timing is kicking in and happening before us. We're really thinking about it and less, and then less thinking, better shots. So use the drills of flamingo drill and feet together to help do this. Now, what I want you to do with the flamingo drill in order to get this go is we're going to do the flamingo drill. We'll just call that FD at high rates of speed. And this is the this is key. We have to test out your system in a sense. Okay, we have to know if what is the maximum effort you can put in there the right way. So practicing, and you're only going to do this, like say for maybe ten balls. These are kind of more evaluations or tests. We have to go at we're doing the flamingo drill. How fast? Can you swing? Now, we're not going to do this with a wedge. I'm going to say probably from a six iron on up, obviously through the driver, is take 10 balls or 10 swings, because you can do this without a golf ball. We'll call this 10 swings at the fastest rate possible in doing the flamingo drill. That's going to start giving you that feeling of how to properly sequence that swing down. This is important. If we don't have this high rate of speed, we're always going to be a little, we're not going to know the correct way of doing it. And the simple analogy that I use during my lessons is kind of a off balance tire at 30 miles an hour, your tire can be off balance, but we really don't notice it. But we get on the interstate now we're doing 70, 80 miles an hour in some states. And now it's wobbling all over the place. That high rate of speed tells us how grooved the swing is or how efficient the swing is how properly trained the swing is and how properly trained that sequence is. So it's a speed test and evaluation. That's the reason why we're only gonna do 10 swings because on the golf course, we never operate at 100%. You know, I'd say on the golf course, we're somewhere between that 80 to maybe max 95% of speed on the golf course. But on the range, we wanna max this out and hit the highest rate possible. We also wanna challenge ourselves to get that faster speed. In order to get faster, you have to train faster. That's what this high rate of flamingo drill is all about. Is it's an evaluation tool, then also it's a training tool in order to create more club head speed down the road. So by practicing this and training this with a lot of different golf clubs, 
we can now start developing this proper feed forward downswing neuromotor program without thinking about it. And that's just the nice simple thing about reactionary golf is we don't have to think about all the pieces on the way down. It just goes because we know what those good shots feel like and those good swings feel like. It's just a matter of how do we create that. This is how you create it. Okay. So be shooting more of this. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Let us know if all this makes sense or if you have any questions on it. Thanks for watching.